Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the October 2013 Question 23 Grade 9-10 Contest, which also came up in the Grade 11-12 Contest. So the question is, Karen has placed a number between 1 and 5 on each of the circles in the diagram below, without repeating any of them. If the numbers that appear in each region represent the sum of the numbers in the circles at the vertices that define that region, which number did Karen place in the middle circle? So in the place of the vertices, I have now let lettered them A, B, C, D, and E. So through this lettering, we now have equations. The first equation is A plus C plus D equals 12. Then the, the next equation would be a plus c plus b equals 9. The next equation we have is c plus D plus B plus E equals 11. And then the final equation that we have is a plus b plus c plus d plus e equals 15 because we know the numbers are from 1 to 5. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 15. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the values of each letter. So what we will start by doing is by subtracting equations to get to less variable so that we can find those values. So first we will do equation 1 minus equation 2 because they have two similar variables which is A and C. So we will have d minus b equals 12 minus 9, which is 3. So if you look at equations 3 and 4, equation 3 says b plus c plus d plus e equals 11, and equation 4 says a plus b plus c plus d plus e equals 15. So the only difference here is that this question, equation 4 has A in it, and everything else is the same. And here we have 15 instead of 11. So if you do equation 4 minus equation 3, then you will just be left with A, and 15 minus 11 equals 4. So we already know that A equals 4. So if, if you look at this equation, we have d minus b equals 3. So we know that d must be 3 greater than b. So the only possible values for d and b would be b being 1 and d being 4, or b being 2 and d being 5. 
but we already know that a is 4, so we know that d cannot be 4, and therefore b cannot be 1. So we know that b must be 2, and d must be 5. So now all we have to do is find out what C and E are. So now we will just substitute these values into an equation that we already have to get C. So now we will look for an equation that we already have A and B. For example, two equation 2, so A plus B, which is 4 plus 2 is 6, plus C equals 9, so C must be 3. So since we already have 2, 3, 4, and 5, we know that E must be 1. So now we have all the values of the vertices. So the question was, what was the value of the middle vertice? But since we have it as C, and we have C equals 3, we know the answer is 3. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.